Okay, um, we're going to go back to the top four strings now, and we're going to work with the, just the seventh chords, and we're going to create what's called altered chords. Um, and altered chords are dominant chords, dominant seventh chords. In this case, it's, we're going to use F7. And uh, they have uh, either a sharp five or a flat five, a sharp nine or a flat nine, or any combination of those. Um, or a ninth chord with a flat five or a sharp five. So, for example, um, we learned before the ninth chord, here's F9, um, we could have, uh, we already did the augmented, we already did the sharp, I mean the sharp five and the flat five. Okay, we did those already. So we have the root, the fifth, the seventh, and the third, F, C, E flat, and A. And to get the ninth, we take, get rid of the root, and we put it up here, we go to the G, up a whole step. So we're at the fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret, okay? And we end up with a, an F9 chord. Okay, so if we sharp this fifth, which is on the third string, we end up with a, an F9 sharp five. We call it F9 sharp five. Or we could have an F9 flat five, be like that, okay? So there's two more chords, F9 sharp five, so this would be 5, 6, 4, 5, or F9 flat 5, which would be 5, 4, 4, 5. All that would be over the F, uh, the, the F bass note. Uh, the bass player would be playing that. Okay. Now, um, so that's, that's two more. Then what we can do is we can do the sharp 9 and the flat 9. All right. So the 9 is here on the bottom. Fifth, on the fourth string, so that G, so F7 sharp now would be a, have a G sharp in it. So it would be sixth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. Okay. And again, that's over that. Okay. If we want a flat nine, we take that ninth, we go down a fret, so we end up with four, five, four, five. So this is G flat, C, E flat, and A. And there's an F9 chord. Now, the, 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 the cool thing about this one is that actually you can move it up three frets and you'll get another F9, uh, F7 flat 9 chord. F7 flat 9, F7 flat 9, F7 flat 9. Okay, they repeat themselves. And you'll see why as we go through all the chords eventually. We're going to just do this one shape today. Um, I just want to make sure you get that. So here's, here again, F7, F9, F9 sharp 5, F9 flat 5, F9, or F7 sharp 9. We have to call it seven chord, and then because we're altering the ninth, so F seven sharp nine, F seven flat nine. All right. So now that we're here, at F seven flat nine. Let's go ahead and do the altered G, uh, the altered fives. Okay. So we're going to flat the five. So we go down like that, and that's F seven flat nine flat five. Okay. And it looks just like a B seven chord. Okay, it's four 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 five. But if we put that F in the bass, you can start to hear some of that. You know. hear that it's not quite the same as a B7 chord. Um, again, so, so we have G flat, which is the flat nine, C flat, or B, which is the flat five, E flat, which is the seventh, flat seventh, and then A, which is your third, okay? Um, and then let's do uh, F, we're going to go back to F7 flat uh, nine, and we're going to sharp the five. So we end up with this, okay? So here we have the G flat, we have a C sharp, E flat, and an A, okay? Flat nine, sharp five, flat seven, and third. And all seventh chords have a flat seven. So my, when I'm saying flat seven, we're not actually changing the seventh. We're just, uh, that's just what it is. It's a flat seven, okay? So there's that one. Okay, we got two more. Uh, let's go to back to F9, and we're going to F9 sharp five, or sharp nine, sorry, F7 sharp nine. I'm confusing myself. There's the sharp nine. So we want to flat the five. We're going to take that down there. Toughy. We want to add that F in the bass. So here's the sharp nine, which is G sharp. Here's the flat five, which is B, or really more properly, um, C flat. The E flat and the A. Again, the seventh and the third, the guide tones are sitting on top the whole time. Okay. And then the last one is the sharp nine with the sharp five. So we have C sharp. And there's our F down there. 
Okay. G sharp, C sharp, E flat, A. All right. So review quickly. F7, F9, F9 sharp 5, F9 flat 5, F7 flat 9, F7 sharp 9, F7 flat 9 with a flat 5, F7, F7 flat 9 with a sharp 5. F7 sharp 9 with a flat 5, and F7 sharp 9 with a sharp 5. Uh, that gives us 8 more chords right here, and times 12, there you go, 96 chords. Okay, and uh, so those are called, another term, you, sometimes you'll see that written, it'll say F7 altered, okay? And that one is usually... I mean, always open for interpretation. So if you see um, F7 ALT period, that means altered, you can put a sharp nine, a flat five in it. You could put a sharp nine, a sharp five. You could put a, a flat nine, a flat five. Um, you can even just do it uh, like a sharp five or a flat five or a sharp nine, flat nine, or you could, you could, you know, like I said, do any combination of those. So uh, that's, that's why they're called altered chords because you're altering them. You're changing the original chord. Um, and uh, that, Obviously, with some of the sounds of some of these, it gives you more tension to get you to the next chord, which is usually when you're coming from the the, uh, the five chord, you usually go into the one chord. So, anyway, there you go. God bless you guys. See you tomorrow. We'll do the next next grouping of them.